I'm John Little, and this is the Shockcast for January 8, 2014. The Second American Revolution, Will the Globalists Use Bioweapons? Listening to Dave Hodges on the Hagman and Hagman Report drove home the thought that we are very, very close to an open revolution against the U.S. government, and it makes me sick to think about it. Yes, I'm hopping mad about the evils being imposed on Americans by our oligarchs, but the revolution that's coming will tear up what was once an incredible country. Worse, I believe that the globalists have a plan to win this revolution decisively. Now, for those of you who think that the idea of a revolution is foolishness, please remember that the first American revolution was fought by only 3% of society. Those 3% were actively supported by only 10% with another 20% yelling go get em from the sidelines. Do we have 3% ready to take up arms against the U.S. government? Are there 10% ready to actively support such an insurrection? Is there another 20% that is ready to give emotional support to such an endeavor? I don't know, but it's clear that many think that there is enough support for an armed revolt, enough support to actually make it happen in 2014. And if there isn't enough support for such an action now, you can bet that there will be as the Obama administration continues to pour gasoline on the fire. He literally is the most divisive president in American history, and I'm starting to believe that he's doing all this on purpose. But the purpose of this presidency is for another day. What I'm more concerned about now is the plan that the globalists have to win the second American revolution when it eventually breaks out. And one possibility has occurred to me. Biological weapons. Remember that the globalists do not care how many Americans die, just as long as the survivors are willing to follow their lead. Since the globalists are on record as wanting to reduce the population of the world to 500 million, murdering a couple hundred million Americans is peanuts to them. So, a biological weapon would be the perfect way to win. They could vaccinate their own people and offer vaccines to any who would surrender. And the war could essentially be over at the cost of maybe a hundred million dead. The fact that a biological agent may break out into the rest of the world, well, they did want to reduce world population anyway. Also remember that the globalists have been engaged in bioweapons research for decades. Most of you know that German rocket scientists were brought over to the U.S. after Germany surrendered at the end of World War II. What you may not know is that Operation Paperclip brought over more than just rocket scientists. They also brought over Nazi biological weapons specialists and engineers. These Nazi scientists became the core of the biological research laboratory on Plum Island. So we've had Nazis developing bioweapons since 1946. What do you think the chances are that they haven't developed some pretty interesting weapons of mass destruction? No, you can bet that there are a host of diseases available to the globalists, along with all the vaccines they need to protect themselves. Even better, a nationwide pandemic will leave America's valuable infrastructure untouched while depopulating a part of the world that they want for themselves. And if you think that this kind of evil is impossible, think about the maniacal psychopaths of recent history and the tens of millions they murdered during the previous century. Oh, and let's not forget Prince Philip, husband to Queen Elizabeth. He's famous for saying, Quote, in the event that I am reincarnated, I would like to return as a deadly virus to contribute something to solving overpopulation. Close quote. Right. So tell me again how genocide can't happen here. Furthermore, the globalists always seem to telegraph their intentions through mainstream media. Have you noticed how hysterical everyone has gotten over the threat from bird flu? Well, maybe it's not hysteria. In the end, I believe that the globalists have the ability and the willingness to use biological weapons to defeat any revolt in the United States. And I believe that there are globalists who are looking for an excuse to use such a weapon. But a biological weapon isn't their only option, and I don't even think that it's their preference. I think there's something else that they'd rather use, and it's something that I'll talk about tomorrow. Are you ready for this?